In this episode of the Insect Hunter, we're going to be taking a look at this awesome mantis bid that I was able to catch. We found it in our garden and a few different insects were landing on the leaf and I wanted to show you kind of what happened in these encounters. So mantispids are actually closer related to lacewings than they are to actual praying mantises, but they do have very similar features. They have those claws that are like praying mantises, and a lot of them are mimics. This one is trying to mimic a wasp, and as you can see, they're predators, but they also will feed on other resources when available. This one's feeding on some honeydew, which was produced by some aphids, which if you look up, you can kind of see all the aphids that were producing the honeydew. So he's stretching and it looks like he's ready. So uh, I put a few different insects onto the plant to see what would happen. Here's an aphid and all it really took for him was just to uh, touch it with his antennae to knock it over. So I did uh, let the aphid stand there for a little bit and watch here. You see he goes in with both of his claws there and just slams the thing and then it rolls down kind of in slow motion. It moves his claws almost so fast that you can't even see it with your naked eye. You have to really slow it down. Then here you can kind of see uh, an ant comes on and the aphid kind of distracts him and he tries to take a swipe at it but I think he was more focused on the aphid in the moment so he wasn't really able to deal with the ant so he just kind of flipped over onto the underside of the leaf to kind of hide from the ant, which kind of just walked away. But here he goes again with another ant. I kind of had him on my finger. Once you actually find these things, they're not that hard to catch. Um, this one was just very calm and it allowed me to hold it. Let's watch this in slow motion. I couldn't figure out at first what actually happened. I thought he might have thrown him forward, but I mean, the only way that he could have got him off of the frame that fast was to throw him backward. And then with this ant, you can see that he clearly is just picking them up and throwing them backward. It's pretty awesome. Look at that. <laughs> just kind of dumps it back in almost this mechanical motion. It's awesome. And then I decided to uh, see what he would do with the wasp, and he actually just flew over to the wasp. So. This is kind of the thing that he's trying to mimic. And the wasp was definitely aware of him and he was aware of the wasp. Kind of takes a swipe at him, tries to hit him, but uh, the wasp was able to just knock him right off. Most insects don't even want to fight if they don't have to. I mean, he just, hey, knock him off the leaf. You don't have to fight. Here he goes again. He takes a swipe at the, that wasp. Here he comes up from behind. This time he was totally surprised. And all it takes from the yellow jacket is just to knock him over with his left, sorry, with his right leg there. He just knocks him straight off of the leaf. They're very waxy and hard to stay on. So the yellow jacket is coming up towards him and uh, he takes a swipe at him and he kind of does a barrel roll over there. Do a barrel roll! That's what I was thinking. Um, and the wasp kind of gets distracted by that little fly over there. He doesn't really want anyone on these leaves because he wants to be eating the honeydew for himself. And then he finally notices, oh yeah, there's this mantispid still on there. So then the battle ensues. He tries to take a bite at him, but the mantispid is kind of really just waiting for that opportunity, almost like a martial artist, to grab onto his body. It's cool to watch the wasp kind of put his legs up to try and make himself look more threatening. They grab onto each other and the mantis but kind of shakes him around and drags him off like a wrecking ball. It's awesome. In this fight, the wasp kind of gets thrown away, but I mean, he just flies off anyway, so it's not going to affect him that much. Watch that. You see how that wasp tries to go in there with its jaws and just barely misses his face. If he would have got him in the face, he could have 
cause some severe damage, but the Mantispid keeps putting up a fight using those awesome claws. Grabs onto him and tries to just kind of throw him off there. In slow motion, it almost looks like they're drunk or something, but I mean, it's all a really fast fight, what's actually happening. And he kind of gets him underneath and throws him off. And that wasp was really trying to get him with his stinger, but wasn't able to pull it off. Thanks for watching this episode. A big thanks to Epicus, who does the intros and outros for my videos, and who also produced that last song with the fight with the wasp. He's got some awesome music, so check out his channel and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay tuned next time for all things insects.